It was selfish and unkind of you to convince my poor servant to try and help you escape. Yes. Listen, no one understands the pain that you're in like I do, and if you could just let me go, then I could explain everything to Sonny, and, and I could help him to understand that the only reason why you're doing any of this is because you're, you're grieving over your son, Alexander, and, and your grandchild. Sonny means nothing to me. He's simply an obstacle that will be removed. I have reason to believe my grandson is alive and that you've been lying about the baby as you've lied about everything else. I'm not. The truth is that my baby isn't alive and if I thought there was any way he could be, I would be out looking for him myself. I'm almost starting to believe you. Good, please, please believe me, and we can talk to Sonny, and we can work this out with him. You don't understand, do you, Miss Barrett? If you can't help me find my grandson, there's no reason for me to keep you alive. Frivolous woman, Miss Barrett. I wish Alexander had never met you. I wish he had never become infatuated with someone so thoroughly useless. And yet he actually gave up his life for you. Sonny will track you down and he will destroy you. One final time. I ask you, where is my grandson? Your grandchild is dead! I, I am so sorry. But now your Sonny will grieve as I have grieved. Oh, I'm a kinder person than you, Miss Barrett. I won't throw you into a swamp. You won't even feel any cold. It's a deadly neurotoxin. Very new. You'll be paralyzed. Oh, of course, you will feel some discomfort when your lungs stop functioning, but that's only fair. Either way, you'll be dead. We've got to get out of here. Right now. Ah, well, then I assume Sonny is on his way. What did you do? A deadly neurotoxin isn't nearly as difficult to obtain as one would imagine. Is she dead? Theo, did you kill her? You've turned against me, haven't you? After all these years, you've brought the enemy to my door. Detective Falconari is with them. If you surrender yourself, he'll protect you. Dante Falconeri dumped our son into a swamp and lied about it for years. And you expect him to protect me. He won't let Sonny execute you. But if you try to fight your way out, Sonny will have all the excuse he needs. Brenda looks like she's in a fairy tale, doesn't she? The kind we would have read to our grandson if you hadn't spirited him away. I expected more, my darling. I deserve more. Suzanne's taking too long. It's only been a few minutes. Give it a chance to work. Okay, just no one takes any shots. I take Theo into custody. We don't know what Suzanne's telling Theo. We got to get control of the situation we'll right just now. Just stick to the plan. If Sonny. we take too long, Theo is going to adjust. We got to make him make a mistake. Do you okay, understand so, what I'm saying? So you're going in no matter what we say, right? Yeah, I am. Give me a few minutes. I'm going to get Brenda. You create a diversion to distract his people.
trouble with her or something. Hey, why, why are you protecting Dale? I'm not protecting him. I'm going to take him to jail. He's a lawyer. He's going to find a way to walk. And we got to build a strong case against him. Why not just say it's an accident? I'm taking Theo in. And that's it. Ready? That's the signal, isn't it? They're coming. Yes. Don't fret, my darling. We've protected each other for many years. And now you have one more chance to save my life. Theo. Theo. <clears throat> Don't do this, Theo. Detective Falconeri, my wife tells me you're lying in wait. Theo Hoffman, you are under arrest. You may have some trouble putting the handcuffs on. Of course, Mr. Morgan could simply kill us all, but then you'd have to explain that to your superiors. Drop your weapons. My men are unable to comply. They need the means to defend themselves. You really want to be charged as accessories to murder? I'm afraid we've reached an impasse, gentlemen. No, 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 we're, we're good. We got all night. I'm sure you have all the time in the world. Unfortunately, Brenda does not. You're right. Listen to me. 